can have an emotional impact on all of us. And joining us right now to kind of give us some advice on handling stress is Ann Kanapke. She's from the Harbor Career Connections. Nice to see you this morning, Ann. And you're Thank actually you. a vocational manager, correct? Yes, that's correct. All right. Now, we were really excited. We, were go we already had planned to have you on our show to talk about workplace stress. And then, of course, yesterday's tragic events in Boston happened. And we kind of wanted to talk about how you can handle stress in relation to these events. So go ahead and just kind of tell us what are some symptoms of stress. Well, symptoms of stress can relate to physical, actual physical mm -hmm. uh, problems with um, stomach problems. Um, uh, I, get a knot, I get a knot in my back. Right, you know, the <laughs> neck uh, yeah. stress, um, um, you know, it, it's just you know, stomach problems, mm -hmm. um, having a hard time sleeping. Um, so those are the things, you know, the, the triggers that can you know, give you an idea that you are under a lot of stress. Yeah. Now, do a lot of people tend to just overlook these and think, oh, that's just normal? I mean, is this something that really needs to be addressed? Yeah, ultimately it does. When you're, you know, you're having a hard time going to sleep at night mm -hmm. or you are able to go to sleep at night, but then you're awake at 3 o'clock in the morning and right. you can't go back to sleep, you know, then that has an imp impact on your ability to do your job. You're always tired you're more irritable. Mm -hmm. You cannot handle the daily, you know, um, duties of your job. And so you may be more irritable with your family, your friends, your coworkers. So right. those are some um, triggers as well that you need to address. Absolutely. Now let's go ahead and kind of turn towards yesterday's events. You know, um, events like the Boston bombings, they make you think, how could anybody do this to other human beings? It's really hard to wrap your head around an event like this. What is your best advice as you look, as you look to somebody and say, hey, there, is there good that can be brought out of this? Absolutely. In, in the face of such a tragedy, you need to rely on family and friends mm -hmm. and, and those natural supports that you have. Talk about these tragedies. And yes, terrible things do happen to good people. Um, you get together, you come together, um, prayer. You know, this morning I saw where there's a group in Finley that's having a prayer Absolutely. run. Just to be of support, you know, um, seeing pa postings on Facebook, you know, thinking of the people who were impacted right. in Boston. You know, you see that with many tragedies that it tends to bring us bring. together. Absolutely. Yes. Now, if people like to get a hold of you, Ann, how can they reach you at Harbor? Well, um, they can call the, I'm at the Secor location. Okay. Um, you know, the phone number 419-479-3233. Right, and right. so we're always available to be of support, you know, because things like this, we need to come together and support each other. Absolutely. Well said. We certainly appreciate you being here this morning. Thank and, you. and again, thank you very much for your time. Great You're advice. Welcome. Thank you.